today we're going to be talking about this very, very popular game now on mobile devices called Pokemon Go. Let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, what's up, Exaltic here, and today we're going to be talking about a new game. Pokemon Go, as you probably already know, is a popular game on iOS and Android mobile devices. In fact, it has over 10 million downloads in the United States alone. It just came out a few days ago, and it has jumped to the top of the App Store. Pokemon Go gives off about $1.6 million of revenue daily to the company that made it. But, you may be asking, why is it so popular? Well, Pokemon has been around for a couple decades and originated from the Game Boy. So, a lot of 20 to 30 year olds remember this game from their childhood. Even if you are younger, I'm sure you've at least heard of Pokemon. Pokemon Go finds your location by using the GPS on your smartphone. It uses your location to tell where you are in relation to the Pokemon, Pokestops, and other things nearby. Then, once you get to the Pokemon you want to catch, Using Pokeballs, the app activates the camera and adds in a moving image of the Pokemon. I can see why people like this game, but it can also be dangerous. People have wrecked because of this already. Someone got shot at for trespassing because they were trying to catch a Pokemon on private property. There are rumors going around that this is just a hoax. I hope so. When I was very little, I watched Pokemon on TV every now and then, but other than that, I never really did anything else with it. So to be honest, I don't know too much about Pokemon. Don't get offended, but I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan. And now you're offended. But I still at least tried the game. When I tried it at first, servers were down due to too many people on it causing it to overload. The next day I tried again and got my first Pokemon. It was pretty cool when catching it, but that's the only real thrill I got out of it. I later was in town, so I decided to pull out my phone to look for more. I found a Pokestop nearby, so he went to it. Didn't get much from it though. All in all, I would say it was an alright game, but definitely not in my top favorites list. It was very buggy and a little laggy due to server overloads. There wasn't much else to do either. Since you can't just find all 250 Pokemon in your house, it can be challenging in a good or bad way. If you do play it, be aware of your surroundings and don't drive and look for Pokemon at the same time. Some hardcore fans take this game to the extreme and go to crazy places to catch them. That's a big reason I won't be playing this game much. I'm not going to be spending all day walking around with my phone in the woods or on top of buildings in a city to find Pokemon in the game. I can see why this game is liked by many people, but it's just not for me. I figured this game would be popular, but I had no idea that this game would get this big this fast. Neither did most others. In conclusion, this game is cool but it can be too much and people can get hurt by doing this. But at least it gets more people outside doing things. Looking for randomly placed Pokemon in a virtual reality world. Well anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. By the way, if you like the video, a Pokemon will appear at your doorstep within 10 seconds. Totally not lying. But seriously, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been Exaltic, later. Ooh. Oh, reject! But I'll also be doing other kinds of videos like...